Hello, today let's solve these two integrals. Here we will use a smart way to solve them by using the result from my last video. And in the last slide, there will be a bonus, so keep watching to the end. Let's get started. Let's solve this integral first. Record the result from the last video. If you missed that video, you can click here or click the link under this video to see how to derive this result by using contour integral. And then we take the derivative on both sides. And note here, this derivative is respect to a, so we treat x as a constant. After taking the derivative, the left-hand side goes to here. And the note for this x in the green color is coming from the Chen rule. And for the right-hand side, after we take the derivative, we got here. So the b cancel out, and the minus sign cancel out. So we got the result for this integral. Now let's look at this integral. Again, we use this result from the last video. But in this case, we do the integration on both sides. And from the Fubini theorem, we can exchange the order for the integrals. So the left-hand side goes to here after switch the integration order. And then we do the integration on this term first. And note here, this integral is respect to a, so we treat x as a constant. So this is a simple integral. After integrated, we got here. And for the right-hand side, after integrated, we got here. Now for the left-hand side, we plug in the lower and upper limits. But note here, when we plug in the lower and upper limit, we plug in them into A, not into X. And for the right-hand side, we also plug in the lower and upper limits. After simplify it, we got the result for this integral. And here is the bonus part. So in this video, we did the derivative to get the result in the blue box. And we did the integration to get the result in the red box. The question is, what about this integral and how to solve it? And also, what about this integral, how to solve it? Actually, we can see a nice pattern here. Whenever there is a sign function on the numerator, the power index for this green colored x will be an odd integer. And whenever there is a cosine function on the numerator, the power index for this green colored x will be an even integer. So the more general question is, how to solve the following four integrals? Here, n is an integer and is greater or equal to 2. The answer is very simple, and you can try it. I will post the answer in the next video. I also put the solution link for this bonus question under this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.